or you have some exceptional, uh, how do you call them, cuvee or uh, yeah, blend so or exceptional rare uh, editions, editions? Uh, expressions of the Vitres. Uh, so we had the Vitres Black Pearl, uh, who was really the, the reserve of the family and an amazing uh, decanter, which is actually uh, an homage to the first uh, decanter which was in metal because it had a silver anthracite uh, uh, reflect. And we released, we created the, the rare cask collection. Well, we created the same master, Pierre Trichet, created that. Uh, actually, the interesting part of that is that um, Pierre Trichet, she spends most of her time overlooking the tierson, the barrel, tasting them, seeing how they evolve. Sometimes some uh, barrels in Eau de Vie evolve not exactly according to the the Louis XIII style, so she puts them away, puts them aside. Uh, and you know, uh, the first time, so that was in 2005, um, she spotted uh, one tierson that was quite different in terms of aromatic uh, intensity. And she said, well, it's quite interesting, not exactly very well balanced, but it's very interesting. And instead of doing what her predecessor must have done, uh, i.e. taking a difference and leavening, leaven, uh, evening out with the other barrels. Yeah, because you're trying to, to have consistency. Exactly. That's one to thing to about find the same style. Yeah. Yeah. She decided to put it aside and to follow it year after year. After four years, she spotted this perfect point of balance. And she decided, well, we need to release it. We need to bottle it. And we're going to call it Ritres Rakas 43.8. That was the first one. That was the first one. That was like two, three years ago. That was in 2009. We did launch in Guilin, in China. Um, and, and then this year you also have an exciting news of yeah, exactly. the Rakas. Right. Um, and this uh, second edition of the Rare cask collection is called Ritres Rare Cask 42.6. Just a degree of alcohol in, exactly. in the bottle. Um, so, ever since Ritres Rare Cask 43.8, Pierre Trich Trichet senses were in alert. You know, she was really trying to look for this kind of miracle of, of nature that happened once, but she didn't know if it would happen a second time. Uh, and where and we have a lot of different sellers, so she really tried to identify, and she had to wait, you know, another another four years, and she uh, she spotted this initially, you know, in uh, you know, that was in two thousand nine, um, and again she overlooked it, followed it because again it was not very well balanced, and only in two thousand twelve. It's only one, one single chest. 738 of them? Correct, exactly. And they're all going to be numbered, right? Yeah, they're all individually numbered. Uh, those are in uh, very precious, unique decanters. They are black crystal. It's extremely complex to elaborate black crystal because actually you don't see what you're uh, doing. And it's very, very difficult. And the color uh, in the first edition was made out of and this time uh, it's made out of rose gold and rose gold, I can tell you, is extremely difficult to, to master. So I, I hear good news about this rare case 42.6, they all sold out, right? Pretty much so, pretty much so. There's a very high demand, uh, we are on the waiting list, uh, so we really invite all the aficionados of Ritrez, but also Space. Uh, it is a fantastic Eau de Vie, it's a different expression of Louis XIII. You have the same dorsal spin as Louis XIII, but you have different uh, aroma uh, peaks uh, like uh, 
cedar wood, my dry fruit, and especially the finish on tobacco leaves. Uh, that really makes it a step forward. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay.